Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm basically just gonna show you around the house and show you what the lads from Elite Rendering are doing with regard to rendering the house. That looks a bit different to what it used to. It used to all be pebble dashed. Some of it still is, but it's getting better. Okay, so in this shot, we've kind of got the different stages of the rendering process laid out for us. We've got the original Pebble Dash, which of course looks awful, just like old Pebble Dash. Then we've got some beading around the windows here. The windows have been masked off. And we've also got beading along the bottom. And then we've got the wall in the process of being painted with a very sticky, sandy, resinous sort of stuff, which will give the render a really good chance of sticking to the wall. Um, in fact, it doesn't just give it a chance of sticking to the wall, it allows it to grab permanently. Obviously, that pink stuff is going to go all the way over there. The whole wall is going to be painted pink. It's going to end up looking like Elton John's house. But all that's going to be covered with the render. And that goes on in two coats. It's a really good quality render with like a 10 year guarantee. And this is what it ends up looking like. That's two coats of render. You can see the difference between Pebble Dash and Render. What a hell of a difference it makes. Just brightens the house up, cleans it up, makes it look really modern. And they've done a beautiful job of putting it on here. Now those gutters are a little bit skewed because we haven't put those on properly. At least we haven't put the downcomers on properly. They're just kind of propped up in position there until the job's finished and then we can fix them to the wall. They're ultimately going to go down here and this is a massive patio which I'll show in a different video because that goes on forever look at that way anyway this is what we're looking at today this is the render you can see that's totally cockeyed there that would normally go into the wall and down so we need to sort that out here's what the front of the house looks like now and bear in mind all this used to be pebble dashed it now looks really bright and smart we need to give that a bit of a paint, but it's looking all right. I've got to say the lads have done a really outstanding job. I mean, I'll just give you a close up of what it's like down here on the joints, you know, around the windows. Quickly zoom in on that. Really good finish. You know, I mean, that's, it's a proper job, you know. And we're also getting the chimney stacks done as well. We've got a big one here and one over there. And I mean, you can see the problem that we were having with the render and the pebble dash. Look at the state of that. It's been patched up a few times. It looks absolutely awful. That's going to get rendered the same color as the house, which is G20, which is like a, an off-white ivory sort of a color. I'm really, really pleased with this. Obviously, it's like a bomb site below it because all that's going to be patio. When that gets done, this lawn's going to get leveled up and we're going to have a cracking view. You know, stone circle going up here, looking out over that. Now, when that render goes on, it's actually smooth. And they wait for it to more or less harden and then they've got this pad with like loads of little teeth on that they just rub round and kind of scrape it like that and that gives it the textured finish it's almost like orange peel it's a really nice dimpled finish you know it looks really nice when they're on rendering tomorrow i'll get a little bit of footage of them rendering just so you can see exactly how it goes on and what it's like when they're creating that finish on it now the job's coming to a close now. We've only got two more days. Um, we've got them on just painting that wall around the far side. They're going to be putting the edging, like the beading, up on the chimney stacks. And then tomorrow that big wall and the chimney stacks are getting rendered. So when it's all done and the scaffolding is down, I'll bring you around again and show you what a transformation this has made. It I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not ridiculously expensive. We've saved up for the work that we're getting done around the place this summer. 
and that's why you haven't really seen me out and about in a lot of the videos because I've just had so much to do around the place obviously we're getting other people in to do this but there's been a lot of organization a lot of cleaning up and I'm busy with my business it's going mad this lawn is going to be totally restored reseeded it's going to get scarified overseeded fed maintained edging to go on I'll be doing that so there's a nation of work to do until it's absolutely finished in a separate video I'll show you how the patio is progressing that is going to be a hell of a project so if you're interested in getting your house rendered and you're in the northeast I'll put elite renderings contact details in the video description I'll also do that in the follow-up video that I'll do to this one where we will show the finished job because I'm really pleased with it and more importantly the wife is really pleased with it doesn't matter what I think if she's happy I'm happy good stuff